Yeah. So, um, didn't don't they say? Then they say Oprah is a, is the Epstein buddy. Uh, I don't know. I have to look and see. If didn't they say she's a, a she's a buddy? Oh no, no, Weinstein. She's a, she's Weinstein, a Weinstein buddy, mm-hmm. and she's yes. she's never said anything against him that Correct. you know of. Same with Tamron Hall, and I love Tamron Hall. Really? But he gave her her first break. He did. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not necessarily. Um, um, a responsibility of every individual who's ever associated with him because he had his hands in everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was powerful. Pause mm-hmm. in, in, you know what I'm saying, in Hollywood. So, yeah. but it is particularly uh, interesting that the silence, right? Yeah, there's a lot of silence. It's not going to work out good for you, Beans. I got that thing on. Beans Z, we love you, baby, but you're going to be in problems. I got, I got a little thing here that whenever Beans barks, Ooh. It emits and it doesn't hurt. Mm-hmm. It's just a dog whistle type of thing, whatever. So it looks like it hurt can... when I see him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wants to, he so he wants to be vicious so much. Yeah. But um, what was what was I talk about? Oprah and the <sighs> silence. Yeah, the silence. Um, you know, is is, is something the that's higher very noticeable. Ups, the higher ups, the big people. They're you know she can disassociate herself. She can. She she can be like okay well everybody knows that I have an association with them and right and what right what, what, I didn't do nothing I'm I wasn't Oprah. I wasn't you know assaulting anyone that was him is uh is Oprah industry is she is she part of the machine I'm starting to learn that she might just be part of the machine right uh it seems like n- now with um Winfrey Films I think is that what it is. That's where this color purple thing came out. Yeah, that's oh. the production company okay. that put. I think it's One Free Films or O W Films. O W Films because it comes on when the color purple comes up. It's very clear oh, okay. that her company is first, of course. Um, and it <laughs> appears that you know in the making and the rollout and all the things of this movie, Oprah has been very hands on, very mm. involved, very much about getting all of us to the theaters right to make it a number one movie which you should do if you have your money and you know behind yes. your name behind something Absolutely. and whatnot but as far as not paying folk or right. allegedly not paying right people right and kind of what we've seen <clears throat> over the press junket uh that maybe there's some tension on the press run right and i know we you know we've been we were on break so we didn't talk about this when it happened happened yeah. but um so the, the you know, we don't have to dive into Taraji. Of course, she Taraji came out mm-hmm. and basically talked about the the pay disparities mm-hmm. in Hollywood. People had already been talking about how people yeah. don't actors don't get paid in black Hollywood. Actors. Is it was it just has it just been black actors saying that they don't get paid? I'm talking about before Taraji and stuff. Viola Davis. They say like people was, people don't get paid a lot of money. Oh, to, period. To act in movies and shows with, and with like the writer strike. Correct is, with the with the writers guild they were talking about and the actors guild. right and that sparked that sparked that whole thing it right? talked about the pay so issues that whole thing so then their whole purpose the whole reason put that put this on top of that right yes. so on top of that this, you hear it yeah I hear it <laughs> now you gonna be quiet you better shut up <laughs> you hear him beans yeah you okay no yeah right. okay. Right. Um, so on top of that, you put the black woman, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, issue, whatnot, mm-hmm. of them not getting what their counterparts are getting and stuff right. like that and getting severely underpaid. So Taraji came out and talked about that for herself mm-hmm. and she threw a dart. She, she said, I even, I almost didn't, didn't do color purple. I almost didn't take this role cause they was trying to lowball me. And she didn't say that, but that's the that's a safe assumption, of yes, course. Because during the interview, the the black women in the audience were like, "What?" She said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. "That's right." Yeah, Oprah <laughs> too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that that really makes me feel like, well, question is Oprah part of the machine? Because here 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 you are doing the same thing to possibly doing the same thing to someone who you should be really looking out for. The Oprahs and the Tyler Perrys. Mm-hmm. There, there, there is. Oh yeah, you had to pull a man into it. I had to pull a man into yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> because he he Perry. has this thing about he was the first person to pay her 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 rate. Mm-hmm. Her rate was only five hundred k. Okay, 
he was the first person to do it. Was he? So he feels, he said he's very proud to say that he was the first to ever pay her her rate. Okay. And it's just like, okay, but what about all the other people that you've been using in your movies? How are you paying all the rest of them? Have people come out saying that Tyler Perry don't pay? Um, No, they don't want to speak ill of Tyler because he's got his own soundstage and I, all that stuff. He's doing I, major things. I feel like you're painting the narrative. Am I? Yeah. Where Where is the Tyler Perry criticism coming there from? Is the, the Tyler Perry criticism, well, his crap shows. Or his crap well, yeah. I, mean, it's, I don't watch Tyler Perry movies and whatnot, but where, where, you know what I'm saying? The criticism itself. Like, right. why does he deserve to be thrown in there with this Oprah conversation? Because they roll hard together. I think he also had something to do with the productions of The Color Purple Money. Okay. Money wise. All right. I, I, I feel like. Okay, so maybe you think yeah, I'm reaching? I feel like you're reaching. Okay. I feel like you re- I feel like there was no reason. There's no reason to throw Tyler Perry in the conversation there's no reason. unless someone comes out and says that he don't pay. Okay, you know what I mean. So right now, but when you talk about the machine, itself, yeah, the Hollywood machine, the Hollywood who is machine. Typically, we see, we look at that those folks and this the Harvey Weinstein's, mm-hmm. the the white folks running that situation, mm-hmm. not paying black folks specifically black women and whatnot, and Oprah with uh, Taraji's statement mm-hmm. seems like she's part of that. Like she's t- saying. Damn, Oprah almost Oprah wasn't paying me. I almost didn't do this shit. It's o- it's okay mm-hmm. for a black woman to take this criticism if the, if she's guilty of it. Oh, absolutely. And she was, called out by another black woman. The budget was a hundred million dollars. Did Oprah direct the color purple? The twenty twenty three is directed by Blitz Bazu, who was helmed Beyonce's Black Black is King. Marcus Gradley of the Shy wrote the script which Oprah says is now infused with a kind of magical realism. Hmm. Okay. So the the, yes. the 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 fact is that when she said that, everybody looked at Oprah. So then Oprah is now doing cleanup. It looks like cleanup, doesn't it? It does look like cleanup. It looks like, t- first of all, tonight, mm-hmm. the interview, Taraji and it was Oprah, on Saturday. one-on-one uh, on HBO Max at 10 p.m. This interview was coming out. So we don't know what this interview is was going to be said. We just know that all of a sudden she's sitting down with her. But Oprah has sat down with other members of the cast. Right. But this. It's come on. Yes. Come on, man. And we're coming off of also Taraji's snub. She That's did a right. fantastic job in the movie and she got no nominations. Um, oh, Oscar nominations. Um, so this movie no, made it. No Emmy Yes, different parts of the film were nominated for different things, and Taraji was snubbed. So the Oscar nominations already came out? The Oscars didn't come out. The Emmys came out. But isn't the Emmys for TV? Yes, and movies. They acknowledge movies, too. I didn't know that. Yes. Mm. Oh, Golden Globes. Maybe it was was the Golden Globes? I thought Emmys was just TV. I don't know. But that's an industry thing. That's not an Oprah thing. Right. To my knowledge. Right. I'm just saying Oprah money looking funny in the light right now. Absolutely. Critics Choice Golden Globes. Golden Globes. Danielle Brooks and Fantasia were nominated. Taraji was not. You watched the movie. Do you feel like she had a, a an Oscar worthy performance? Even though we're talking about Golden Globes. But. <clears throat> she did a great job. Fantasia does a phenomenal job. Mm-hmm. Danielle Brooks does a phenomenal job. I don't know if the Suge Avery role is an Oscar or, but she did a great job because I didn't even know Taraji could sing you know, until this movie. Right. You know, more, more goes into these awards and stuff than just doing a great job. Right. And so if you're like, if you're being a disruptor, like Taraji is being, now, you're probably not going to get nominated. Now she's in the Monique. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Not quite, but not yes, quite, but you're right. Getting you're she's right. Getting in the Monique. And Monique got nominated. M- M- Monique jumped out the window with hers. She didn't do the politics of the, the, of, for the role to get the win. Right. She didn't want to play the game. Right. So, yeah. But. Don't forget, she did name Tyler Perry. She did name Lee Daniels. And she did name Oprah. She named the trifecta. No and doubt. she said that none of them wanted to pay her. And no, none of them wanted to do right by her. I don't doubt Tyler Perry mm-hmm. is un- oh, has yeah. underpaid anyone yeah. or any of the, these people because they are all capitalists. Right. And they right? make money. Right. The goal 
is just to make a, a lot of money. Lot. And I'm not saying make it back. A hundred million dollar movie is a lot of money. It is. And you got to make that back. Yeah. You're running a business. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, and, but yeah, so the goal is to make a bunch of money and it's not about some moral stance or making sure our black actors are getting whatever, whatever. But and from my, from my perspective, that is watching I, these people. I got it. But out the gate, did you see the comparison that was running on Instagram of Taraji and Ellen Pompeo? Ellen Pompeo is from Grey's Anatomy. Oh, yeah. I the saw pay, that. The pay gap. Yep. It's the nasty. The pay gap for black people, black actresses. Out the gate, the pay gap is crazy. Taraji has all these accolade, mm-hmm. accolades, and Homegirl got like two things. She just did just, She Anatomy. just did Grey's Anatomy. That's it. And, and got a $500,000 bonus, and then she was getting so many $100,000 per episode now i will be remiss if i didn't syndicate uh, tv uh, say what syndicated tv <laughs> right if i no, if, if i didn't mention the fact that taraji fired her whole team mm. because they didn't capitalize off of that what's the show that she, empire lines. off of empire Cookie, the so lines there's some responsibility that she took on herself and that mm. she has to take on herself because her team clearly she felt like they didn't do a good job and mm. that's on them, us on her. It falls on her. Got you. But this is not new, and we can go back to Viola it's not, Davis. Of course not. It's not. Viola Davis said, "You say that I am the black Meryl Streep. Pay me Meryl Streep much. Straight up. Period. Straight up. And, and these, Viola's that nigga. These women are classically trained. Right. They're coming out of universities. They're coming out of Juilliard. They're coming out of all these places." And usually got more credentials than some of their white counterparts. Yeah. And they're not getting paid. They're not getting paid. And that's very unfortunate because they're they're trying to live their dream. Yes. They're they are following their passion that they've been following for a zillion years. Because most don't really pop until they turn forty. Right. You gotta, if you're lucky. you gotta, you gotta grind it out mm-hmm. for like twenty years or so. Some mm-hmm. people, I'm not gonna say it. I don't. Let me not say this like I have some type of experience with it. But you could be grinding this shit out for twenty, twenty years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's 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 tough before you even get your first break. I've watched my friends. That's all I can say. Yeah, I've watched my friends struggle to make it in the industry it's crazy and still not make it you get a handful the chadwick bozeman's are not everywhere everybody right. doesn't get a marvel contract right and become black panther right it just don't happen you like don't that happen like that for everybody it's, it's not <laughs> happening it's not even the supporting class look at that predominantly supporting cast of black panther and think about how many other things they're actually in yo listen Holly Weird is a place that I don't <laughs> want to be. Baby, what if the, the podcast gets picked up and they want to put us on, you know, Vice or TBS? Let's or- talk about that. <laughs>